Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing inequalities. We're going to draw a graph for each inequality. So, if I was given this inequality, negative 5 is greater than b, okay? Well, the first thing I like to do here is I want to get b written out front first, right? I don't like it being second, right? So I'm going to put b out here, and I'm going to put negative 5 over here. But by flipping the inequality like that, I need to flip the inside inequality from a greater than sign to a less than sign. So now, negative 5 being greater than b is the same thing as b being less than negative 5. So we start at negative 5 here. We have an open circle because it is not equal to negative 5, so we have an open circle right there. Open circle. Then, since b is less than negative 5, we have the j to the left, right? And then we have our graph. Our graph now matches our inequality, right? So let's read that. We're given negative 5 is greater than b. I want b to come first. So I flip the whole inequality. b comes first, negative 5 comes second. And the inequality in the middle flips from a greater than to a less than sign. Now remember, these two are the same thing, just shown a different way, right? Saying negative 5 is greater than b is the same thing as saying b is less than negative 5. But I find this easier to graph now. We, can, we start at negative 5 right here. We then have an open circle because b is not equal to negative 5, and we shade to the left. And so this graph really shows both of these inequalities, um, represents both of them, right? So um, negative 5 is greater than b, b being our shaded area, so negative 5 is greater than b, but also b is less than that negative 5, not including it. So again, our graph is our final 